All right, guys, we're back with a banger of a video. Today, we've got something that I'm really looking forward to. It is a true British classic. We've got par, mash, and liquor. So I picked this up in Sainsbury's. It was only two pounds. Can you believe it? Two pounds, that is cheap. That is cheap. Considering it's like the entire meal, 450 grams worth in, in the box. Um, it says here, a traditional East London favorite. Now I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, um, this dish was born in the East of London and it's still very popular there. And as you move further away from the East of London, it does become less popular. Nonetheless, this is something that's been on my bucket list for a while and it still is. Um, sometime when I'm in London, I actually wanna to go to a cafe that specializes in Parmesh and liquor and try the real authentic thing. But I was cruising about Sainsbury's as you do, and I saw this, and you had one of those, you guys will know what I mean, you have that ooh <laughs> moment, and you just can't pass it up, right? I had to get it to try it. So this is something new to me I've never had. Um, I'm interested to see what this liquor stuff is about. I don't know what it is. Looking at the ingredients, I see it's got... Um, basically milk and herbs and a bunch of other stuff. So it sounds pretty good. Um, yeah, so looking forward to this one. Let's have a quick look at what's in the box and then uh, we'll get it cooking. Oh, okay, that does look nice. That pie looks awesome. Damn. Okay, so that's what we get for our two pounds. It does look, it does look worthy, I must say. I did, I did, uh, some, for some part of me thought the pie would be smaller than what it is. Uh, but yeah, looks good. Uh, I'm gonna get it cooked. All you have to do is puncture holes in this, pop it in the oven. You can do microwave, but I don't want a soggy pie, right? So pop holes in it, shove it in the sage, and I'll see you guys when it's done. Oh, there it is, fresh out the oven, boys. That is hot. All right, let's um, peel the plastic off. Dump it in the sink for now. Oh, that does, whew, does look good. And it sure as hell smells good. Let's, um, oh, pie's breaking apart. No, come on, man. It's like stuck in the mash. It wants to break. Got to surgically remove our pie from the mash here. What's going on? Here we go. Oh, damn, that is hot. Okay, let's get this underneath. Getting it out and onto the plate has been a little bit of a challenge. But hey, we're getting there. Here's the little piece of the pie that Oh, come on. Shouldn't be this hard to get something onto a plate. <laughs> oh. I don't want to lose any of the goodness, though. Come on, man. This thing's annoying me now. And we just need to give this a bit of a stir, it says. Oh, this is thickened up quite nicely. Huh. 
Now I'm not sure exactly how. Let's do this, get that across. Kind of match what they do on the um, box, right? They don't have it on the mash, they have it next to the mash. Let's get all the goodness out. Oh, this does smell divine. Right, drop that in the sink too. And this is what we get. Oof. Let's uh, go over and have a taste. Does that not look good, boys? So there is our pie mash and liquor. It does smell exceptionally good. I must say it does smell really, really good. Um, right, let's... Uh, oh, the pie didn't go soggy. That's good. Let me, let me give you guys a look at this from... Uh, from my point of view. The pie came apart a little, but it still looks delicious, doesn't it? I'm looking forward to that pie. It's got to cool off a little bit. Listen to what it says on the box here about the pies. Our pies, we have remained a family owned business, family owned and run business since 1946 and are very proud of our traditional minced beef pies. That there sets an expectation. So yeah, let's, um, I'm keen to try a little bit of this liquor. It's piping hot. This is the thing I've never had before, right? Ooh. Mm, that is nice. The herbs come through strong. That is that is gorgeous. Let's try a bit of the mash. Mash is not bad. Mash is mash. Get a bit of that mixed together. Oh, I like the liquor. That certainly doesn't disappoint. I really like the liquor. <coughs> Right, now let's get a, let's try and cut this in half and have a look at what we get inside the pie. Oh, it's crumbling a bit. There we go. Let me show you the pie from this angle. This is what we get inside the pie. It does, it does uh, have a look at that. It does look good. So now we need to try a bit of this pie. It is kind of crumbly. It certainly does not disappoint. Um, one thing I was worried about, being two pounds for the whole thing, is that the pa might be disappointing, but that is a fine pa right there. So this is actually turning out to be a banger of a meal, to be honest. I've got to try the pa with some liquor. I don't know if I'm even doing this right. But uh, hey, it's going down well. <laughs> oh my god. This certainly has not disappointed. Only thing that's left to do is try a little bit of everything.
together. Oh, come on, it all fell off. That's gonna be one big mouthful right there, boys. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Well, guys, it certainly does not disappoint. If this, like a two pound frozen box meal is this good, man, I'm looking forward to trying this in an actual cafe at some point in time. Because I can only imagine it would be better. So yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. Definitely, definitely worth a two pounds. No doubt about that. That is a banger of a meal altogether. Pleasantly surprised by the pie. I wasn't expecting the pie to be as good as it is. The liquor is something unique. I don't know what to compare it to. Um, delicious though. And the mash, I mean, it's mash. It ain't bad for something out of a two pound frozen meal. I've had better, I've had worse mash. Altogether though, banging meal. Excellent, excellent, excellent value for money. You should try this one, definitely. Anyway, folks, that's it for this video. I am gonna go and uh, enjoy what's left of this. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.